What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 page or catch me online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. I put all my videos there, links, some articles, all sorts of good stuff. Now you're looking at what a, excuse me if I got a lot of uh, light coming off. I'm watching the Redskins game over here. It's Monday Night Football tonight. Usually I'm there since it's at home, but I, swit, I split my tickets this year with uh, one of my friends who's a Redskins fan. So where he goes to half, I'm going to go to the other half of them. So, I'm doing another video tonight. I found this online. It was on Eagle Man's, where was it at? Eagle Man uh, 725. He's pretty cool, man. I like some of his videos. He, he noticed this what looked to be some sort of uh, creature hiding under a rock here. Um, looks like it's popping his head out. It looks like it's looking directly at the Curiosity rover. Now, also, I found another a whole bunch of stuff. I looked at this for like five minutes and just went through and, and looked at some of the things. Also, it looks to be another sort of creature coming out from a rock with his tongue out, maybe like a snake-like creature there. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take you in. First, I'm going to show you how to get it. And then I'm going to take you into Photoshop and work with this picture a little bit more. Because Photoshop seems to be uh, the way, you know, it se seems to work a little bit better. So here's where you find it. Um, as always, check the description below. It's going to be linked in there. Easy to come with this. Get the TIFF if you got the hard drive space. Other, you know, it'll be best resolution possible if you do that. And here we are. So what I've done was I've loaded it up in the Photoshop. Now the only thing I've done to this so far was just add these little uh, these markers. We're not going to go over all these. These were just interesting things to me. But I want to take a good look at those areas that look like they uh, that Eagle Man had looked at. And also what seemed to be interesting to me. So let's take a quick look at these. Let me get my other mouse and see if we can't get these to come out, pop a little bit. Also some, see this thing right here. So we're going to do this little, whole little area right here if we can to start off with and see what we can find. Let's see. First we're going to let to do the auto color. Let Photoshop do its thing. Usually it makes it a little bit lighter. That's interesting that it made it a little bit darker and that's not going to work for me oh well, maybe that's kind of interesting how it did that let me go ahead and step backwards and we'll just work with it one on one here now I know I think Eagle Man a couple of the people are using the trick with the blur tool on it um, or with with one of these other tools here I just like to mess around with the adjustments um, the level the exposure and the gamma stuff like that um, not trying to look through it or anything now everything on these rover pictures always look like they have this this look to them. They're like that milky color to it. It's got the it's not it's like a milky uh, orangey puke color I call it to it. Uh, it looks like it's just been dumped over the whole picture. And as you can see, this looks like it's been done to this whole picture as well. But if we could pull that out a little bit more, let me see if I can zoom this in a little bit more. Oh. Let me zoom it in and then do it. Alright, so let's bring it up a little bit, adjust, and we are going to adjust the exposure. Let's do the brightness and the contrast first. So we're going to do brightness, bring it up. You see how it looks like he's got, he was right, it looks like there's ears, mouth, a nose, eyes, like an eye, maybe down here a paw, like you wouldn't want to go sticking your hand under there. So he, I, I totally see what he's seeing, and, and the way he pulled it out was even better. Like I said, I think he used the, uh, let me see these tools over here, where are they? The, um, the blur tool and another one. Dodge tool, burn tool, sponge tool, and I don't know exactly how these work. I've had a couple people show me on here how, the, how they do it. Um, something about changing the shadows and stuff like that. I like just keeping it how it is and see if I could pull it out from it. So let's try this though. Let me see if I can change its color a little bit. Let's make it like a bright blue on a new layer. Just to try and pull it out just a tad and see what we've got. And this is going to be a little bit longer one than usual. I, uh, I've been doing a lot of the short videos. A lot of people like them. A lot of people like the long ones. I, I noticed I get a lot more attention time on the short ones. But you know we're just going over certain things and so let's see if we can come up here with what I've just got and basically this is just a uh, easy way of doing this that I've always done it. Now I'm just going to drop the transparency of the layer. So this is where I see the actual anomaly and then let's go ahead and drop the fill, drop the 
opacity. And fill it in a little bit more. And I guess the Paul would be right there. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think about that? Let me know. Comment below. Let's take that out. Now I'm going to back this picture out and do a layer. Let's do it. I want to do the auto adjust and see how the whole picture looks when you auto adjust it. I never really got that color. There we are. I think because I had such a little piece of the of it, it did, you know, when it adjusted. Let's do the auto tone. There it is. Now that looks much more like Earth. So I think that NASA just adds these. Let's see, fit the screen. So if it had a blue, that does look a little bit more like Earth. So let's take a quick look at some of these other strange looking anomalies that seem to be on here. And I will let you guys go. Some of these I could do a different video for each one, but like I said, I'm just going to keep this one. This is just interesting to me too. Whether this is another rock down here, see how it looks like it almost looks like a little spaceship or like a uh, a flat-nosed reptile with his tongue kind of out. Um, let's see through some of these other things. A lot of rocks that were uh, this area is just cool in general. See how the sediment or these other rocks just lay on top of them, look like they're poured on, it's like some sort of volcanic. Uh, something from a volcano or something here it's just very interesting very cool looking um, some metallic looking uh, see that right there that little spear it's kinda looks like a little classic boomerang shape or whatever there it looks like a totally metallic a lot of this stuff here looks to have handles and be and definitely be something that was uh, you know, worked at one time. See, I think that, like I said, I say this in most of my videos, I think that Mars was a beautiful place and just got smashed. Something happened, a planet came into it, um, and over the years, everything at first was just smashed up, broken up, earthquakes, who knows what it could have been, and then uh, maybe floods, and then years of weathering, years of uh, dry now, weather changing all the time, and it, and it just would have been totally thrashed. And I think we see it in a lot of these pictures um, with the rocks and uh, various, let's see, various things that look like animals there. <laughs> and I must say, there are things that look like live animals that were there. Um, and just total stuff that's just thrown about, like stuff with patterns, like unlike rocks you just see on Earth. I mean, you really don't see a lot of this type of stuff on Earth. Um, Look up here, it looks like a lock or something along those lines. That's most likely just a standard rock. A lot of these square, perfectly square little pieces to them. Um, here's something down here. Let's look right there. That's an interesting piece. See how it comes up. Um, let's see what else we got here. Another interesting piece here. It almost looks like some sort of tool of some sort. And then there's also over here, I would like to show you for I do end this video because it's getting long. Um, right there. That looks like a base of something that does not look like just a standard rock sitting out and uh, exposed. That looks like something that's been exposed to the weather for a real long time. This also looks like the base of something. Um, up here you've got a lot of pictures. Here we are with... Uh, just a lot of symmetry in the blocks, a lot of things that look like they could have been uh, writing or, or something along that. See how there's a lot of symmetry in those circles on here. A lot of this stuff looks to be... And it, it the rocks kind of look like they were at one time formed together, see. And, and I don't know if this is metal, rocks, who knows what this really is, especially since they put this tin on it. And we really don't know what processes caused everything up there we can act like we know exactly what's going on on the planet but just on my videos this is uh, not a smoking gun video by any means but uh, just with some of the videos I made alone there's some pretty interesting stuff out there um, we'll get to take a look at some of this stuff over here real quick because there's not there's a lot on here. download this picture if you really want to get into it because it's very high res it's a mosaic it's got a panoramic um, a lot of this looks to be shaped. See how it kind of follows the contour all the way down, and you've got then little shapes carved into it. Um, let's see what else was I pointing at. Something here it had it has this little pointy thing on it, rounded objects here. Here's some something here too. What was it over here? More, uh, just more things that look to be kind of carved out. 
90 degree angles, things along that line. There were some things that look like tools in here. I wonder if I can find them real quick and then be done here. Okay, here we go. This side was a little bit more uh, symmetrical. Okay, see this right here? <laughs> How it's cut here, here, and here? Let me get this out or get one of these. Here we go. Like, and it's rounded too. It almost looks like a big, huge wrench, except it's missing like the adjustable wrench part at the top. Then here, you've got this circle piece of metal. This totally looks like metal to me, metal scraps. And then you've got two pieces of metal right here. It almost looks like uh, this part of this thing. See how up here the metal actually goes about the same length as here? Um, so this looks like some sort of machinery, something like that. And then all the end right here looks like to be some sort of, uh, you know, just triangles and things that are shiny metallic circles. And you've got these these strange things are actually all over this picture if you look into it how it just changes from this really dark dirt to this uh, patterns of dirt here let's see if there's anything else I noticed these are just seem to be very interesting rocks here like I said this isn't one of my smoking gun videos that's pretty interesting right there that does not look like a rock that actually looks like something alive or something that was had function to it maybe a tool or something that somebody carved when it's got symmetry like that, it just doesn't look like normal rocks to me. Um, let's see if there's anything else. Oh yeah, there, I forgot about this area over here too. There's so much to this little piece. When they do these mosaics, well first here, look look at this seems to be some sort of rounded bench that's just basically all the dirt and stuff is just directly on it. See how it is perfectly worked along the way here, the whole way down, and even up to here, it looks like part of a wall that starts out that way and down here you've got what look to be some sort of machines or something that were part of the wall maybe in some heads um, so some sort of monkey heads or something like that let's see if we can do anything with these adjust see that very very weird um, very strange see how it looks almost like a uh, parts to metallic parts once you do that up here it totally looks like let me do this this whole area right here because it totally this totally looks like something like a little car or something that's been thrashed see how it pulls pulls it out there and you got a lot of circles there just a lot of symmetry in it these two look like masks but I mean when it goes with this stuff here it's just very interesting let's see what we can do with this image auto tune once again, just weird stuff. Where else was there on here on this side? It's funny when you get it so big, you can see all these little baby things. It's amazing how much stuff is here. Here's some other stuff too that interests me. Let's see if that works. The image auto tune. Just that rock there was kind of cool. How it's just randomly there. Looks like it rolled out of nowhere. There's a lot of symmetry in this poured stuff. It almost looks like it was like just a volcanic part of the rock or who really knows? I just think we haven't had the full truth about anything to do with Mars. And uh we most likely will never get the full truth of what we know. Um which is which is fine. We found out here our videos go through and show a whole lots of stuff. I mean <laughs> And everybody here that sits here, if you made it this far in the video, let's see, where am I? I have to be over 10 minutes. Yeah, if you made it this far in the video, you're into this stuff. You know, this is this is cool stuff to you, so I'm glad you guys are here. Let's do this one more time to this. I mean, when you start making it look like that, it definitely starts making it look like something more earthly. Um, and just everywhere you look on this picture, you can just pull out some things, little things like this. Let's see what this does when you do it. Let's use a tone. Make it a little bigger. I mean, come on, there's just so much there. Anyway, much love, guys. Wanted to make one. I'm going to be going to Rock Nest. Uh, I keep saying that, but it will be one of my next videos that I'm going to do. It's going to be a long one like this. It might even be like a 30 minute one. So, you know, a lot of you, I'm not sure how people are going to like that if they will or not um, you know it'll be a lot more interesting to this because I already know the anomalies much better there um, and if there's anything else here I wanted to show that was too interesting as my phone's going off 
Hmm. No, I think we're going to go ahead and leave it at that. You know, let me do it like this with this one right here. I do enjoy doing this to see what it looks like when it gets out all the tones and, and just changes it. Because it does, it changes it to what really looks like Earth. And let's go up here real quick and look under those two things real quick with that. See if it'll pop out. Image. Yeah, see, it makes it a little bit darker there. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think below. Let's say this isn't the smoking gun evidence that we're used to seeing, or at least I try and put out, but this is one that really got me looking and thought it was cool. If you check out, uh, check out Eagle Man's video because his is a lot more, whatever he's doing to the picture, it, it makes it pull, you know, really sharpens it up good. So much love, guys. Like I said, sorry I went 15 minutes on this one. The Rock Nest one's going to go a little bit long too, but hit subscribe. Much love. Peace.